So if we have this expansion, so if I, again, if I contract, you know, again, we think about how muscles move. This is the key is understanding that, believe in me, that muscles expand and compress, right? If I blow a muscle up, it has two ends, right? It doesn't just blow up away. If I flex my bicep, it's not just going this way. It's trying to go back into the bone. It's trying to expand just like this balloon. The issue is I have this bone behind me, right? That can't move, it moves a little bit but it's not going to, it's a much larger restriction. So you're going to see the expansion move more up and away from the body. So what actually happens though, is the bone, the muscle itself pushes the bone in the direction away from it. So as fluid goes into the muscle, uncompressible, it pushes the bone away from it. It's just not a drastic movement, but understanding it's viscoelastic as well. So it's going to have fluid shifts within the bone. So this is how you can tell which way or how any muscle is going to affect movement. One, you're gonna look at that compressive nature on the joint, and then you're gonna look easily look at how the muscle pushes the bone. So if we take a vastus medialis, for example, if we look at the action on the femur, what this is going to do is going to externally rotate and posterior translate the femur based on its location, right? So if I'm, if the muscles on the inside of the leg, as you can see here, it's going to expand, push it away laterally but it's on front of the femur as well. So it's going to expand and push it backwards. So it's gonna push this posterior lateral movement of the femur, right? So if we look at extension, it's the tibia moving anteriorly on the femur, right? Now it also is rotating into external rotation. So this is where we can understand that muscle lever system is under and appreciating that muscles just don't act in one plane or one joint or one movement really makes sense. And this is really, you have to really appreciate that because when it comes to inflection, the vastus meatus plays a big role in flexion, all right? And the gastro is going to play a big role in the extension, which usually we think about, oh, it flexes the knee. But think about how it pushes. When we look at the body as a system, they all work together. So appreciating where these positions are and how it pushes on the bone will help drive what's going on. So at the same time now, as it's pushing on the bone, it's going to be pulling on the joint. So now it's going to drive fluid posteriorly and inferiorly. So if we tighten up the capsule above the knee, so we have the knee, this medial uh, muscle here is going to pull on that capsule, push all the fluid back in that direction, right? So it's going to push everything back and down. It's going to drive again, the femur, the, the tibia now up, because it's gonna push it posteriorly, inferiorly down behind, drive it up and drive it into internal rotation. So again, that helps drive essentially when we do a lowering activity. So if we're trying to descend into a squat or bend the knee under load, this is drastic and help controlling it and pulling things in. It's going to turn the tibia internally while also maintaining somewhat of a concentric position from an anterior posterior translation of the, of the uh, femur in order to maintain the ability to hold the squat down while allowing our knee to rotate. All right, without so the and the vast lateralis is going to be very strong in the extensor uh, at this point, but this plays a much bigger role. And then the axon tibia, you can see anterior, medial, and inferior. So again, that fluid gets driven down, it's going to move it in that direction. And that's based on one, the muscle pushing on the bone, as well as the action on the joint capsule we discussed earlier. Now we take the vastus lateralis, it's going to be the exact opposite, uh, essentially, uh, when it comes to the rotational aspects. It's still going to drive again the femur posterior. That's probably the biggest aspect of the extension is a posterior femur on a uh, anterior tibia, but then the rotation matters also. But it's going to drive internal rotation, which is screw home. So it's gonna drive internal rotation in the femur as well. Now, if we look at the fluid actions within the knee, uh, within the joint, you're gonna have posterior inferior fluid. So now it's going to, again, push obliquely medially, which is going to drive the tibia into an anterior lateral inferior location. So again, it pushes it out, a little, on the posterior side, it's going to gap the back side, it's going to gap the middle, and it's going to rotate it up and out. So this is a very strong extensor. But appreciating that this vastus lateralis is going to, again, just push on the tibia, turn it in. So if, you if you're looking at how does this joint, how this muscle going to affect this joint, look at where it pushes things. That simple. Where does it push it? And then go from there. Like you can look at any muscle, it's going to do that everywhere on the body. 
And this is where understanding also you'll see that vast muscles push on different things. So you almost have to break those muscles down into different muscles, right? It's easier to look at this as you'll see like the lat. You have like, oh, the iliac aspect of the lat or the, the uh, mid-back aspect of the lat. You have your trap, which is broken down. Your glute plays a bunch of different roles, right? Your pec, same thing. It depends on where it is and how it's going to affect that push. So literally look at where that muscle expands and pushes on, the, on, that, on that bone. And that's gonna tell you how it's going to affect the movement. Just understand, you understand the internal external rotation aspects of the movement itself as well. And then how it's gonna affect the fluid flow. So that's essentially how muscles function, how they create movement as well. So it, hopefully that kind of makes sense. If you have questions, we can save it to the end. Um, or if anybody's watching this after the fact, feel free to uh, hit me up on any of the contacts to uh, kind of ask those questions.